Yo, what's going on guys? Your boy X here and today I'm reviewing Dragon Ball Super Episode 89. Is nobody gonna mention that Master Roshi was trying to rape that girl? Like <laughs> I'm saying, like, he picked up, took her to the room, started doing some sexual activities. I, I'm i just saying. I, I'm just saying. Now, <laughs> this episode, I'd say it was a very simple episode. I mean, it was still good in its own right. Um, you know, uh, you had Goku. You had Goku going for, you know, going to talk to Master Roshi and Tien to uh, come on a team. And... I don't know if it's like some kind of, I don't know if everybody has to do it, but it just seems like everybody does. Uh, he asked TNT, he's like, nah, I can't do it, bro. I gotta, I gotta train my students. It's like everybody says no at the beginning. It's like, just join, just join. I mean, I can understand you have your own thing going on. Like I said a long time ago, Goku should just tell everybody the truth. There will be no no's. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> um... We see Master Roshi getting a little stronger. Like, Master Roshi, um, well, at least what Goku says, um, go, you know, uh, that girl, I forgot what her name is already, she was, like, controlling people, destroying the town and stuff, and then she got Master Roshi, and I guess she, like, put him at, like, the talismans, like, put him under control, I guess they used their full strength, and, you know, Goku starts fighting him for a little bit, and Goku's like, um, uh, Oh man, this is uh, Master Roshi must be doing some secret training. So this is him at his full strength. And then for a split second, a split second, guys, I thought Goku was gonna go Super Saiyan Blue. If he had gone Super Saiyan Blue, let me tell y'all, this review would have started off a whole entire different way. Um, but no, he didn't. He uh, stayed based the whole time. Thank God. And <laughs> I, I, I thought he was trying to kill him. See, I thought the plan was. Goku's like, I don't have time for this. I was like, oh shit. Goku goes up in the sky and he's like, ah, man, you know, starts charging that shit up. And I'm like, okay. And he's like, I hope Tien, he's like, I hope Tien got this. And I'm like, okay, maybe uh, Master Roshi's gonna start up Kamehameha and then Tien's supposed to rush up to him and just pull the talisman off. But no, Goku just fucking shoots that. I thought he killed him. I was like, oh my god, it's like a big ass explosion. But no, Master Roshi's still alive. It just burnt the talisman off his face. I was like, wow, okay. And uh, Tien, Tien was doing some uh, cool shit. I mean, we well, didn't get to see a lot because he kind of got shut down. Shut down real quick. <laughs> um, you know, he had his little uh, Machamp mode. That's what I'm going to call it. Machamp mode had four arms and shit. Um, he looked like he was about to do some shit. He just didn't get there, you know. Um... It always happens to the best of them, you know, they look like they're about to do some shit and then somebody stops them before they can. You're like, God damn, I didn't get to see nothing. And he looks like he got a little swollen too, like he, a little buff. And this, this episode also let me know 100% facts, guys. Nobody, I would love one of y'all in the comment section to argue me down on this, but this episode to me cemented. That the most useless character in Dragon Ball Z history is Chao Tzu. I mean, this man was having trouble pulling talismans off their damn face, bro. He was terrified of these people. He, <laughs> I mean, y'all can talk shit about Krillin. Hell, maybe even Yamcha. I would love to see who's stronger between Yamcha and Chao Tzu. I feel like Yamcha even does stuff. Maybe not recently. He did win us that baseball game. Just remember that. But <laughs> I'm just saying, guys. I mean, Chao Tzu. It, it's really tough. It's between Chao Tzu and Yamcha. I want to say Chao Tzu so bad. I really do. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Who's worse, Chao Tzu or Yamcha? <laughs> And besides that, I mean, at the end, you know, Master Roshi, Tien, they decide to join. You're like, oh, well, obviously, you know. So now we got the team. We got the team all together. All ten of them. Yeah, we're all together. Oh, I thought I forgot, huh? <laughs> you no, know, we also get a scene with Kabe talking to um, uh, Cauliflower some more, you know. Talking to Cauliflower some more. And, and they fooled me. They really fooled me, guys. Cause they they made me want to believe that cauliflower was baby girl that I was gonna fall in love with cauliflower. No 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 no. For a split second, 
when you see baby, you see the real baby girl right there. She had the with the, with the bang and the ponytail. We see her. She in the back, not the background, but she on the side next to a thug. She looking off. That that's the one that turns into Brawley in the opening. So we got her right there too. So I'm guessing she's gonna join. I'm so I'm guessing she's gonna join the team. Like I guess what three Saiyans. Kabe, Cauliflower, whatever her name is, Brawly Girl. I'm wondering if, um, I'm wondering if both of them are going to be able to get to that form or maybe just her. Because she did, Cauliflower did say something interesting. She said, you know, because uh, Kabe came in there like a beast, you know, he wasn't going to be out like no bitch. He turned to Super Saiyan. He was like, get the fuck out and knocking everybody back. And then she was just like, okay, you've interested me with the Super Saiyan. And Kabe was like, this isn't even like the fullest we can go. We can go beyond this. And she said, now you got my interest uh, into going beyond that form. So, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie, guys. And in, in total, this is gonna be some ridiculous powering up because let's remember, guys, they only got a few hours left, right? So, whatever they're about to get, they're about to get Super Saiyan and whatever else in a couple of hours. I would love to see how far she goes. Um,. I don't know, I, and I want to know what they're going to call that Brawly form. Are they going to keep it as Legendary Super Saiyan, or are they going to change it to a new name? I don't know, um, because I hope if they do keep it as Legendary Super Saiyan or something like that, I'd hope it'd be really strong, like, I just hope it's going to be stronger than what it was, like what Brawly was, because I'd say Legendary Super Saiyan is probably in between Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan 2, um, usually people don't argue about that. I would say... I would say a little bit below Super Saiyan 2 for me personally because uh, if I remember in the second movie, Gohan was Super Saiyan 2 and fought Brawling Guys ass but you know that was a weakened Super Saiyan 2 Gohan because Gohan sucked when he was <laughs> that age. Uh, but I mean, fuck it, <laughs> they're, they're gonna change some shit anyways, I'm, I'm just already ready for it, I already got it in my mindset. Now, what I want to say about this preview, Goku versus Gohan, that's the preview. Um, I am hyped for it, you know, uh, we're gonna get to see Ultimate Gohan versus Goku, but I'm gonna have, I have an issue with how they showed the preview. Here we go. <clears throat> now, Ultimate Gohan, Ep nine, episode 90 preview, here we go. Ultimate Gohan, if I recall, because I don't feel like having arguments with people in the comment section. I remember Ultimate Gohan being stronger than Super Saiyan 3, I believe, I might be wrong, um, a lot of people like to argue about that if it's stronger than Super Saiyan 3 or a little bit, they're around the same area. Now the problem I have with the preview, it only showed Goku really going Super Saiyan and then it looked like he turned Super Saiyan 2. Now I'm not a power scaling um, uh, teacher, whatever you want to call it, uh, I'm not an expert at power scaling here, but I'm just saying, maybe because Gohan just got his powers back, so he's kind of weak, but I'm just saying, Goku should be turning Super Saiyan 3 fighting Gohan right now, and another problem I have, and I know it's going to happen, I, I kind of, I kind if it doesn't happen, it would shock me, it would really shock me. In the preview, we did not see Super Saiyan Blue at all. Now, why is that so shocking? Well, let's let's do a check. Let's do a, a, a <laughs> let's rewind real quick. Goku turns Super Saiyan Blue against Krillin. Now it was understandable. He wanted to gauge Krillin and see if he was gonna continue to fight. You know, if he was gonna be scared to fight somebody super strong. Okay, it was understandable. Seventeen. I don't know where that power scaling is. I'm just saying, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, he's somewhere in a realm. I have no idea. I love it, though, but <laughs> he's somewhere just super strong. Gohan. He's ultimate Gohan now. I'm assuming Goku's going to turn Super Saiyan Blue. Why do I assume that? Just hopeful wishing. Why hopeful wishing? Because if Gohan fights him as Super Saiyan Blue, Think about it. I ain't got to say no else. I know somebody already typing in the comment section right now. Yes, if 
Goku fights Gohan Super Saiyan Blue, maybe Goku will get some of that God Key. Maybe. Hypothetical. He'll get that form Future Trunks turned into. Yeah, remember, you know, Trunks and Vegeta fought in the forest a little bit. And, you know, after that, Trunks got that new form. Now, he didn't go Super Saiyan Blue, but he turned into Super Saiyan Rage. Still a dumbass name, but Super Saiyan Rage, a cool-ass form. So, maybe Gohan will get that or another form with the God Key. That's hopeful wishing. Now, once again, the tournament is in a couple hours, so I don't know how he's going to get these power-ups so goddamn fast, but at this point in the game, I don't give a fuck. I just want to see some cool-ass shit. Yes, yes, I want it to make sense, obviously, but, I mean, at the end of the day, we want to see some cool-ass shit. That's what Dragon Ball Z has always been about, cool-ass shit. Yes, there's a story there, yes. Some of the stuff made sense, but there's always been problems. Come on, guys, let's not act like it hasn't. But I'm gonna leave it at that. I am very hyped to see Goku and Gohan fight. I don't even remember the last time they fought. I'm lying. Uh, <laughs> when he was in his great sand, but that wasn't really a fight. Okay, let me. I, I don't remember the last time they really fought, like seriously fought. So I'm looking forward to it. But that's all, guys. Great episode. Uh, yeah, great episode today. It was funny. Um, nah, let me read it. It was okay. It was okay. <laughs> it wasn't a bad episode, but, you know, it was funny. A little bit of action there. I'm just looking forward to this next episode. But this has been my review of Dragon Ball Super episode 89. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button and comment down below. Let me know what your favorite part of the episode was. And for more Dragon Ball Super reviews, discussions, all that good stuff, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Also, hit that bell to get notified when I drop them. And it's been your boy X, and I'm out. Deuces.